So the idea for today is rather simple. We're gonna create a solar system with galaxies. So instead of planets, we're gonna have galaxies and at the center, we're gonna have a massive sun or a black hole. I'm not sure if a sun of that um, mass would be possible. I think it might be possible to create a solar system with galaxies. That's, that's what I want. I want massive suns. I recently learned about the term Googleplex. So apparently a Googleplex is so big that if you were to write that number down, it would require so many books that the mass of those books would be bigger than the mass of the Milky Way itself. That's what it says in Wikipedia. Uh, and I'm sure that's a reliable uh, source. So I'm gonna believe that, you know? Yeah, so instantly, just by trying to increase the radius of um, of the sun, it just disappeared. It just vanished. I just <laughs> heated Mercury out of the solar system. So yeah, we're gonna try to go to massive scale here. Let's try with mass now. I think this is gonna create a black hole or a supernova. Yep. That's a supernova right there. Before we create that solar system though, I wanna test some things here. I wanna see if I can replace the sun with a black hole. I wanna see what would happen if the solar system had a black hole at the center of it instead of the sun itself. So I think in order to keep this system stable, I'm gonna try to place the black hole really close here and it's gotta be still, right? There you go. So a black hole with the mass of the sun. Jesus, look at the difference in size, but it's got the same same gravitational power apparently so all right let's try to move it here and try to replace the sun with the black hole so what i'm gonna do here is i'm just gonna move this like so and move this like so so this should be where the sun was oh man we can't even see the black hole where is it oh it's right there oh my god it's so tiny though the radius is only like two three kilometers it's like what there you go all right the black hole is in place let's see if this actually works we have the earth mercury Venus, Mars, let's see if this, if this is stable. All right, nothing seems to have changed. And that's one Earth year after the sun was replaced by a black hole. Let's see how Earth does. It's been like three years at this point. How is Earth? Oh, it's completely frozen. God damn it. I didn't think about that. Of course it's gonna be frozen. What's the surface temperature? Minus 70 degrees. I think we're all dead, boys. I think you can definitely have the solar system be like a stable system, but uh, you can't have... You simply cannot have life. Even though the black hole is supposed to be still, you can still see that the black hole is actually moving. Let's speed this up a little bit. Look at it. It is moving. <laughs> it is moving through space and it's taking the whole solar system with it. Look at all of these. Look at all these particles and objects that depend on this black hole. All right, here's the question. Let's start moving this up. Oh my God. Now it is four times the mass of the sun. But yeah, this is not stable. Look at all the particles. Any objects hidden Earth? I think it's actually super difficult for planets to collide with each other and particles to collide with each other. So my theory is that Earth is going to be destroyed on this section of the orbit, right? And then as it goes out, it's going to like heal, maybe? I kind of want to see, how's Mercury doing? That's a good temperature right there. Oh my God, maybe it's the gravitational forces from the black hole. Oh maybe they're God. like increasing the temperature on Mercury. So we are at 22 times the mass of the sun. I'm not sure how much I can push this. Ugh, 33 times the mass of the sun. How's Mercury doing? It's doing surprisingly well. Oh my God, it's losing mass? It is losing mass. What the hell? Oh, that's Venus right there. <laughs> yeah, it's getting, it's getting pulled apart every time it gets closer to the, the black hole. Bam, there you go. The black hole sort of like pulls chunks away from it. Oh my God. Oh no, Earth is not okay. What is the mass of the Earth right here? Dude, the Earth lost half of its mass. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do you see that? I think it's hard to see. Hold on, let's go to the, let's go to a gray background here. Yeah, you can see it right there. That's easier to see. It's easier to see the particles. So those particles right there, those fragments, used to be part of the Earth. Like, that's Europe right there. And getting closer, and there it is. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was unnecessary. What's the mass now? It's 10%. This is a never-ending torture for these planets. How's Jupiter doing? 
Jupiter seems to be doing okay. Jupiter is always kind of like solid, you know? It's like a behemoth. Like nothing affects Jupiter. Pretty sure if I put a sun here, it's just gonna get destroyed. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Not even the sun can withstand the power of this black hole. But the Earth can. Oh my god, what the hell just happened? That's a supernova right there. I think that's the end of our experiment, boys. And uh, the Earth is gone. Oh, and it's gone. It's gone. I think it's time now to create a solar system with galaxies. So I've been doing some testing. And I think this is the key element here. We're gonna start with a normal object in space, such as this one. And all I'm gonna do is just increase the mass until it becomes the sun. And I think because it's a random object, the game doesn't create a supernova from it for, for some reason. So I can just keep increasing the mass until it becomes the sun. And now all I have to do is just increase the radius here. Like this is freaking huge. I'm multiplying this times 10. The radius of this sun is 76 light years. Now, now it's 51 Milky Ways. Now this is, this is big. This is massive, 5,000 Milky Ways. So hold on, just to put things into perspective. Let's compare this with the size of, a, of a, the Milky Way. Oh, <laughs> that is the sun. And this right here is the Milky Way. What the hell? That is the Milky Way right there. Compare that to the size of this sun. So it is possible. We can totally create a solar system with uh, galaxies and stuff. If I hit play, what, what's gonna happen? Jesus. I hope my computer is okay. Hold on. So let's go to a bigger scale. Let's go to M years. I don't know what, what that means. I think it's like million years per second. Oh yes, I'm killing my computer. Is it orbiting? Oh yes, it is. So one million years are passing every second here. I'm sorry if you guys are having an, uh, an epileptic seizure here. It is moving. Oh my God, there it goes. Everyone you know, everything you have ever read and watched is in this galaxy orbiting a super massive star. I, I don't think these stars are actually possible in, in real life. I think that's just a bug in the game that allows me to, like a loophole that allows me to create this um, massive star. I don't think the, the stars this size are possible. I mean, compare this to the galaxy. This is the Milky Way. Look at that freaking star, it's, it's massive. So that's the first galaxy that we're gonna add to this solar system. <laughs> Let's add Andromeda here, right? Let's add it like over here. Maybe we can add this one like closer to it. I'm killing my computer as we speak. This is actual computer abuse. We have multiple galaxies orbiting the sun. It does look kind of epic, doesn't it? I'm actually surprised that uh, the galaxies retain their shape under, you know, the gravitational pull of this massive star, right? Like they should like dissipate in my opinion. I'm not sure. I'm not a scientist. I don't know why my opinion should count. And, uh, in my opinion, uh, physics uh, should work differently. <laughs> oh, here's the Andromeda galaxy. Oh, that's an epic view right there. <laughs> Compare this thing. That's a solar system of galaxies. We did it. What if I do this? Can I create a cluster of stars? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, I feel so sorry for my computer. Is that even possible? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at all those stars. Jesus Christ. Imagine the gravitational pull of this. Now, all I want to do is let's create the Milky Way. <laughs> Here you go. Here you go. That's one Milky Way. We have another one and another one. Oh my god, my computer is crashing. What the hell did I just create? What is this? Jesus, what is this freak of nature? What is this abomination? Holy crap. Oh my god, that is the biggest explosion I have ever created in this game. Am I recording? Yes, I am. Oh, I'm creating instant super massive explosions. I think I'm glitching the game in such a way so that some of these stars remain. Oh, uh, there you have it. Now let's place the galaxy. I'm gonna place the Milky Way. It's the most, it's the better no one, right? It's, all right, let's put things into perspective. There is the Milky Way. And there are the suns. Let's try to zoom in until we see the Milky Way. 
Where is it? Oh, there it is. There it is. There is. <laughs> I think we have accomplished what we set out to do. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.